me some pepper. There we go. Don't get no white. Yeah, don't get no white. Yeah, don't get no white, man. That's it. Cheap motherfucker. <laughs> What's that right there? I hear. What the bass at? My sound off today. We ain't got no bass. This sound real pussy. Yeah. Bass out. Jayon, what the fuck is that? I don't think he finished it yet. No, nah, he that's he playing that shit J-O-N off the phone. Jayon was making the beat. Then he went to sleep. Then he went to sleep. Then he went to sleep. Jayon was making the beat. Then he went to sleep. Then he went to sleep. Then he went to sleep. I said, no, Chico, you might be wrong. It sounds like he made this bitch on a cellular phone that needed to be plugged in on 20% and was like, when I get home, I'ma finish this bitch. It's going hard. You hear the claps? You hear the snares? I'ma put something right there, yeah. Yeah. I'ma leave that space and I'ma fill it in with some shit at my place when I get home. That shit gonna be on. I'm probably gonna play that shit through a microphone and it's gonna be lit when I balance it out and put the shit that be missing in that bitch now. Hey, J.O. Mint made the beat and so player. He recorded this bitch on a Motorola Razor. That's why you can't hear the bass coming through the speaker. Hey. Get this bitch finished, the tweaker. No, Chico, out. that bitch already sounding lean. He made this bitch on the answering machine. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy as hell. He made it on the etch sketch nigga, and I can tell. No, that sounds so swell. It's like he recorded it on his phone and left it on his own voicemail. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man, I ain't no hater, but this is sound great on an eight track play. And yeah, but let me have it, cause I'ma make it harder. He made this shit on a calculator he got from his daughter. <laughs> 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 hey man, we yeah, this bitch, the hardest man. shit I just seen. He made this bitch on a microwave screen. <laughs> microwave screen? <laughs> on a microwave screen. He just kept hitting the eight and the one sixteen. <laughs> Chico, when I said you gon' swear I'm a liar, he made this bitch on a goddamn air fry. Air fry. After this, J.O.M., we leave you alone. He made this bitch on a rotary phone. <laughs> nah, I heard what you say. He put it on that phone, the one you got to pay. <laughs> I done heard it before. He made this bitch on a bottle at the lick store. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a horn? No, nigga, that's a flute. He made this bitch at the grocery store over by the fruit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Tweaker, he made this bitch on the Walmart loudspeaker. <laughs> You think that I'm wrong. He made this beat on a Walkman with one headphone. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, shit. Oh, man. Yes, indeed. We in this bitch, man. We in this bitch. We are in this bitch. Like if if this, yes, that's how we... Yes. Yeah. Yes, indeed. It's this 2023. The, you know what? This 85 Way Studio, but this also is the womb, because we in this bitch. Oh. We can Ooh. call this bitch the womb, too. Oh. I the probably womb. won't look at none of these niggas that I got in there with me today, because they got their legs out and shit. But they didn't know that I had just got the air fixed in this motherfucker, so it's frosty in here. Yeah, it's real good. It yeah, you good feel me? I feel you. Y'all ain't dressed for the occasion. That's the job you want. I'm just telling the people so they don't think I condone this type of shit. How y'all boys feeling, man? How you feeling? What you mean? How you feeling? What you mean? How you feeling? Like, I try to stay out my feelings. Ain't no money over there. That wasn't what I was asking. I was oh, asking how you I, feel. I just yeah. be reading regular shit in my mind. Yeah. I feel so real, so trill, like the recipient of a scholarship out of poverty. 
Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Deep. Yeah, that's mean right there. Yeah. Scholarship out of poverty. Living how I want to. Yep. Doing what you want to. When I want to. Being where you want to be. How I want to be there. However you want to be there. That's it. How you, yeah. how you feel, Otis? He ain't gonna answer the Otis on camera. He think he better uh, than yeah, that. Oh, yeah, I'm Otis. And, uh, <laughs> and I'm not ashamed to admit it. There you go. I'm a player. That there you go. said that shit like he was on one of them commercials <laughs> where they said, now a word for my satisfied customer. Yeah, I'm Otis. I'm Otis. Then me, nigga. Then me. I'm feeling motherfucking motivated because I watch y'all niggas on Netflix last night. You did? For the hell yeah, and I'm oh, proud as fuck. My God. I'm a, you know, we watch history, goddammit. Oh, man, that's good. Yeah. Enjoy yourself. You know your car getting broke into tonight. I ain't never did it like this before. We are shooting a special, and you is doing your OnlyFans content on Shit. stage. I'm trying to get some more followers. Just do like shake, 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 shake. Oh, man. Shake, 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 shake. Make the whole crowd shake, 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 shake. Daddy had me with 61. When he nutted, bro, wasn't nobody in there with me. It was just me. You was the only sperm. I was like, so don't nobody want to come? Okay, shit. This is easy. Ha! Make some noise. Shake, 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 shake. I'm oh, through smoking play. weed. That shit ain't got too strong. Why you say that? Because I was had the other day. Ordered a pregnancy pillow. <laughs> <laughs> you lay between the legs. That, that ain't really a bad idea. I'm at home taking naps like I'm 10 months. Because <laughs> it was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. Salt and pepper and, and heavy D all in the limousine, yeah. hanging pictures on my wall. Every Saturday, it was a rap attack. <laughs> Mr. Magic, Molly Mall. I let my tape rock to my, my tape pop. Come on, man, y'all ain't rapping. That mean I kept playing my tape. Till it didn't play no more. Till it broke. Come on, man. Pop. And you can always tell when your tape about to break. That shit started going, Ooh. Slow down a little bit. Yeah, and that shit just pop. That Man, was that, some sad days. That was the saddest. I remember I was trying to, and I'll never forget, bro. I was trying to catch this one. Uh, uh, Avant, uh, Separated first came out. And you know how they put me a song on the radio? Man, I heard the tail end of it. And I was like, what is that? Nigga, I sat at the radio all day waiting to press play and record at the same time <laughs> to record this song. It was like midnight. They finally played that bitch again. I hit record and the tape pop, nigga. Damn. I was sick. What year that was? Because I ain't had them problems. I just used a CD. You was recording shit off the radio on a CD? No, I'm saying he I just went to nigga. the CD he came just, out. He was born during the Burner CD era. Yeah. No, he wasn't. Yes, I was. DVD. My dad was a DVD man. But that don't mean you didn't listen to that. Nigga you ain't that nigga ain't old as you think he is. I'm, I'm 35. 35. 35. Oh. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I thought he went to school with Flatnum. That he was supposed to go to school <laughs> oh. at some point, but I don't know if it was with Fly now, man. I thought that, yeah. see, that nigga I, tricked me. What? He tricked me. I thought that nigga was young. Mm -hmm. I'm 35, bro. That ain't young. That ain't old. I, I ain't saying it young. It ain't young, right in the middle. You mm -hmm. right, yeah. You right, like, yeah. You, you, got, nah, you ain't in the middle yet. You just, this your first year of officially being grown. All right. Yeah. Uh, okay. That's where the thought That's what it is? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, damn, I thought I was grown the whole time. Mm -mm. What was I? Nah, you a nigga an adult. Now you a grown ass man. At 35. Yeah. yeah. The first year. I know I was, because I had done, I had done got me a little ad for my birthday on Thursday and shit, and I just offered her $50. She ain't even want it. I was like, man, look, go get you something to eat, man. You said you ain't got you a little what? A little ass. Okay. And you just gave her 50? After we were done. So you put a $10. Finders fee on no, top. I ain't have to pay for it. It was free. Oh. See, 25 year old Otis would have never done that. Huh? That's what I'm saying. That's yeah. gross. Yeah. 25 year old Otis, would you have done that? Yeah, because 25, 25, I'd ask her for some money. See? Got <laughs> Duality. Fuck that. You it's all about growth. Yeah. And that's yeah, where you say how I feel. I feel like motherfuckers been bullshitting the whole time. Explain. Look how, look how that shit happened. You was there. You know how it happened. In my 
some of the people who was telling us it wasn't gonna happen the way that it happened. Right. And then it happened even bigger than they said how it wasn't gonna happen. Mm -hmm. Right. Like we succeeded harder than they thought we were going to fail. That is irrelevant. But to hear that shit in real life and know that it was already inaccurate when I was hearing it, where I was hearing it, and who I was hearing it from, it's like, no, because you don't even get it. I've al I already know it works. I was working it. But now we get to show the world why it worked, why they love it, and how, like, people don't know when they don't, when it's, some, it's nothing to compare it to. Right, I agree. I mean, I think that was the biggest thing. I think that it was the, as far as the journey, it was the newness and the, the, the unconventional nature of what we was doing. You right. hear, like, you know, how people talk about how it's never been done before, but when something's never been done before, people don't know how to receive it. So Hold on, let's see, that's why I got to backtrack right now. First of all, I'm grateful and thankful and I'm appreciative. You know, if you don't say that, people will think that you don't mean that. Right. You know what I'm saying? But that's, that's given already. Mm -hmm. They don't know what it, you know, those moments of trying to get this shit right and figuring it out. So I appreciate the opportunity to do what we do because they could have just easily not fucked with it too. Yeah, but I think that even if, I don't think that it was an option of not fucking with it because we fuck with it so hard and that comes through, you know what I mean? Like, I think that when people see what we do, I think that it's a reflection of what we are putting out. Like, it's, energy is real. Right. And the energy we put out and have been putting out has been consistent. So now, like, I was, like we were saying earlier, like, the game has shifted to where it's Netflix now. Right. But, you know, 10 years ago, everybody was still trying to get on HBO and buying for that. But the energy was the same. People were right. trying to put out something that they would gravitate towards. But we decided to put out something <clears throat> that we wanted people to fuck with. And the whatever the machine is, no matter what it shifts to, yeah. they have to come to us because people, the people made what we do what it is. You know what I'm saying? It's for black people anyway. Yeah, exactly. That doesn't care if on stage. Yeah, all the way. You nah. know what I'm saying? But it's for all people. And it I think is. That, I and think that's that what's that's so what... dope about it is everybody gets to see and form their own opinion. Right. You know what I mean? That's the beautiful part. I love this shit. Like, I can ask, like, because we done been in the game together from the jump, like, this something that always keep me in, in, I guess, if you want to use humble as a word, but, like, I always think if somebody would have told us when we was walking up and down, you know, Times Square trying to send $50 home, Western Union, that one day we'll be sitting here, would you have believed it? I felt, I mean, I, you know how my mindset is, I was like, yeah, of course, what else though? You get what I'm saying? Because even at that time, I already knew that was going to be a phase two. Mm -hmm. Like, that wasn't, like, it didn't take us long to realize that even that opportunity wasn't as what it was presented. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, oh, okay. It don't just happen like that. Yeah, it had to hit the ground running. Right. But, like I said, it's, that's why I don't answer the question, will you see yourself in the next five years? Because... Because it might take you five more weeks to blow up. Exactly. Five more days. Yeah, and it's like... I five never, more phone calls. I never, I never limit myself that. to what my mind can drum up because if you'd have asked me that when I was an open micer at the Comedy Zone in Greensboro, I wouldn't have named half of the shit I've done already. Right. I wouldn't even have been able to dream up what God has put into my life that I've already accomplished. God so, and people too. I don't think people get enough credit. In what regard? Because you, like, in the come up, doing comedy for fucking damn near 10 years straight before you even do, like, anything major that you feel like is a project, you know what I'm saying? Like, on a major platform, when those people build you up, and they tell you that shit and they motivate you and they keep you going. But all the people who say positive shit, who believe in you, who just run up on you that you've never seen, that you didn't even know where, knew who the fuck you were, those people push you to another level too because you get that confirmation. Affirmation. That yeah. you got good shit that you have, a, you know what I mean? That they fuck with you wherever it is. Like even if you did some shit that's small and local and you posted it, 
and it got a thousand views. You run into 800 of them people who literally watch that shit. You get what I'm saying? Bull yeah. City, hey, Durham, North Carolina. But he but, knows, but they don't like that no more. That's like, no, it's that's over. like, it's over. It's over with. They, it's the state, no, Kendall. You know where you're going, man. They should have sung Fantasia. That would have probably been better. What? You know what I mean? They don't talk to me. July 15th. I already know. No, put it in there. Come on, tell them to come to the show July 15th so they don't think we like it. Y'all better show up to that show July 15th. Oh, <laughs> Who knew her voice sounded like that? I know, right? You see what she said? July 15th, Durham, North Carolina. July 15th, Durham, North Carolina. Come see these boys. Yeah. North Carolina. You heard what she said, North Carolina. She left, she ain't say which new. one, but it's North. North. North Carolina. There you go. You didn't. Right, come on, get your paper. This episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Fellas, come on, man. It's summertime. It's a hot girl summer, man. These, these, these girls ain't gonna get no hotter. You know what I'm saying? So if you're trying to heat up the bedroom, you know what I'm saying? You're trying to set that thing ablaze, get you a Blue Chew. Increase your performance and give you the extra confidence in the bedroom. You know what I'm saying? If you a hot boy, you're trying to get up, right? You trying to get up on the hot girls. They beating us right now, man. They 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 doing they doing too much. Snap back with the Blue Chew. You understand what I'm saying? Bluechew.com consult with one of their licensed medical providers. And once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. Blue Chew wants to help you have better sex. Discover your options at Bluechew.com. Chew it and then go do it, man. And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use the promo code 85 South at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's bluechew.com, promo code 85 South to receive your first month free. Visit bluechew.com for more important details and important safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. And that's crazy you say that because I was thinking the other day just, you remember that first old school battle we did, the reaction that it got? Like, on the last day of the, the last first season. Day. Now, I mean, I'm talking about when it actually came. Not just, oh, you know what, now that you say that, the whole entirety of it, because on the last day of the last season of the first, you know, season of Wild and Out we shot, we did that just off the top, and everybody was like, "Hey man, when this shit hit, it's gonna be." And we was like, "All right, you know what I mean? We don't even know if this shit gonna come out for real." But then when it came out, you remember you checked the Twitter? I had probably about maybe a thousand followers at that time, maybe at that. Man, I checked my mentions. I had six hundred ninety something mentions after that old school battle came out. And at that time, I was like, what the fuck? I'd never seen no shit like that before. So that was the first time that I had ever seen a response like you was talking about in the masses. But that individual, like you said, them people that come up to you that's been seeing you from the beginning, today is so crazy because a lot of those people who would come and watch me at the Comedy Zone do open mic was like hitting me today like, man, this is so amazing. I've been watching you from the beginning, man. I knew you was going to be something. And those people actually did tell me I was going to be something. Bro, I crazy. remember I had did a show. I want to say in like Dayton, Ohio, mm -hmm. whichever one of them comedy clubs where that shit looked like you're in the shower. Toledo. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I, I'm talking shit. This lady in the front row was like, I've been to nine of your shows. And somebody else was like, I've been to 12 of them. And then this white dude who was just sitting there, I've been to about 35 of your shows. Man, who the fuck is that? I would never forget this shit. It's just, you never know. Who paying attention. Like, who paying attention. Yeah. I don't know. That should be crazy, because... Now people are like, oh shit, we watching it in London. Yeah, that's But crazy. they supposed to been watching it. But see, people, it's, it's like that attachment, you know what I mean? And you can have something, but when, when a certain something gets attached to it, it's kind of like, you know what I mean, getting your product in Walmart, you know what I mean? You can yes. be selling that shit, I mean, hand that's over That's exactly fist. what it's like, we in Walmart we now. We in Walmart now. Like, it's like, you could be, it don't matter how good you do it locally, nor how many other stores you done had your product in. 
Once you get in Walmart, you in Walmart. You in that bitch. You know what I mean? And, it's not, and that's the thing people understand. It's not about how you, when you get into a space like that, it's not about how much you sell. It's about how much they buy. I'm watching that shit every day. And me too. Every day. I'm fuck around my night. Every yeah, day yeah. I'm going to watch that shit. I told yeah. nigga, I stayed Even when I'm not night. watching yeah. it and I'm about to go to sleep, I'm yeah, leaving that on. shit on the Keep TV. Keep it on. I Keep started to call somebody at 12 o'clock hitting it one on. Oh, what the fuck going on? I stayed up at three. They didn't put the subtitles on there, so yeah. even motherfuckers that who can't hear about to watch this shit. Yeah, we, <laughs> niggas that can't. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look, somewhere, somebody reading that shit with the hey, captions Hey, Joe, man, Japanese. make sure you put the captions on this shit, man. We got some people who can't hear who want to who want to read it. Word up. And we fuck with them too. Y'all got some people in Japan watching that shit, the caption in Japanese. They don't give a fuck. They just looking at us and like, they are so black. <laughs> <laughs> they fascinated by how black how we black are. black we are, They right? are All so the way. fucking black. All the way, man. <laughs> All the way. <laughs> they love that shit. Yeah, man. And it, it be the, for me, it's like the response and seeing how people are receiving something that you know, we've been doing for so long, and it's like, it's always crazy when somebody see something that you've been doing for years, and they react to it like it's never been seen before. Yeah. It hasn't. It's crazy. They I mean, haven't seen haven't. this shit before. But, it's, but it's, it's wild to see people who you would have thought have always been watching it. Say, man, I, man, I, and they can't, it's, it's undeniable when it's in Walmart, right. you know what I'm saying? You, you can act like you don't see it everywhere else, huh. but when you walk in Walmart and see that display, you be like, nigga, y'all in, man, hey, Walmart. man, I got to call you, man, I just seen your <laughs> chips <laughs> in Walmart, nigga. These niggas are in the airport. Yeah, I wonder exactly. how many people <laughs> haven't watched this shit on purpose. Yeah. I don't want to see no niggas. Turn that law and order on, man. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, man. Shout out to all the people who tried to ignore this shit. But you can't. You can't. Yeah. And you can't. You can't. And that's the beautiful part of it. And I and watching it, it's like, man, you know what I mean? This is a Give me some of your commercial. favorite 85 South moments. Period? Period. In the history. Ever? Oh my God. When you said that bitch wake up in the morning and fly out the window like a pterodactyl. <laughs> Nigga, <laughs> that shit, <laughs> that nigga said, <laughs> bro, I almost threw up, my nigga. That, uh, man, it's so many, bro. It's so many. Fly as the blow up dog. <laughs> um, uh, hey, man. Me and you as the crackheads. Uh, you when you said the nigga in New York. <laughs> when you said, bro, I got on the train. <laughs> Make him go find it. Uh, go find that. New Make York. Go find it. The New York episode, man. Oh, my God. I mean, it's so many songs, man. Uh, uh, when we was in making. Uh, <laughs> nigga, I was watching the Toaster episode earlier. I said, we in Toaster. Tell the bitch to put some toast in the Toaster. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that, that Toaster one when you was like, man, them white, <laughs> them, when you got to do it, hey, man, please, man, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my God, man! Hey, your ass crazy, man. Hey, man, listen, them, them Chicago when they had that first had the uh, auto two. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. That, that ain't that one with Hannibal Burris. No, that yeah. was Hannibal yeah. Burris. Yeah, that was something that took it to us. I think that was one of the moments that really, for us in the moment, we realized in that moment, like, oh, we doing some different yeah, shit yeah, right yeah. here, cause cause it's never prepared. They just break out in song. Yeah, and we never fine. knew yeah. it. Like, and he came. History. I'm assuming to you know. I guess he. We had Bro, no idea. But we used idea. to literally walk through the whole crowd. Yeah. Yeah. You remember this shit? Yeah. Like the entire crowd. Yeah. That's where that skew me came from in South Carolina. Like walking through the crowd, bro. Like it's so many songs. Like my. My, it's so many moments of 85 South. Why y'all do South. a soundtrack like that? But it's crazy because it's so many that uh, we will. Big now we got nigga, a studio. We going to Big that Belly bitch. Nigga and Making. I'm talking about with all the songs y'all come up with on stage. Big Belly Nigga and Making. What you think we gonna come off stage and just go remember them? Uh, nah, hell no. Nah. I U D in New York. Do it like outside that, yeah. forever in New York. She's confident. Uh, she's confident. D them titties are mine. Even them titties is mine. Even though that would never, we never see that one, but that one was classic. <laughs> 
San Antonio. Yes. Them titties is Is mine. it a long lost San Antonio episode? I think that's. <laughs> Joe, drop the episodes. Yeah, we Joe, did like we did like we five got, shows. Hey man, yeah. we gotta celebrate. We gotta give them some shit to let them know that Mega 85 South Show is on Netflix. So I might just have to say, welcome back to the 85 South yes, Show. Sir. On Netflix. <laughs> on Netflix. Yeah, you tell me. <laughs> Don't never tell me what 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 God I can't do, nigga. <laughs> shit. We used to borrow Netflix password. Now we on that bitch. Yeah. <laughs> we on there. We on there. Seeing that screenshot. Next year we gonna have us a Tubi special. Yeah. Oh, the Tubi movie coming. Yeah. A Tubi movie is. I'm talking about. We gotta do a Tubi movie. I wanna do a low budget movie first. I want them to. I want the world to see how good we can make a low budget hood classic, nigga. We need to make us a little low budget ass mm-hmm. movie. The call center, some with a general ass title. <laughs> call center. Man, I'm leaving the call center. Yeah. You ain't finna do center. shit. <laughs> you gonna sit your black ass over there and answer them motherfucking call. Oh, oh, here come Big Larry. Hey, hey, hey. It's my goddamn call center. All calls go through me. Yeah. Come on, Up man. Up the street. That's the name let's of the movie. Let's do something stupid, street. man. Let's, up the street. Let's do a movie where everybody's trying to get that GED together. It's a nigga that need to get a ride up the street. <laughs> That's the whole movie. Just call that bitch up the street. No, we need to do one where everybody's trying to get their GED together. <laughs> and get what we're going to call it. What? GED. GED. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. The process. That's getting it you say together. What? The process. The GED. Process. Getting it together. 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 Get it together. Together. Yeah. GED. Yeah. That's it. That's three right there. The call center up the street and GED. That's three. That's three we could put out right there. All the way. Where mama? Where mama? <laughs> Bro, where mama? This kid, where mama? Just where mama? This the movie. We just looking for mama. We don't know where mama at. Where is mama? <laughs> mama. Is- then when you find that, the end, she just like, hell, y'all looking for me? <laughs> That's it. Did it go on? That took a whole movie to find out. It took the whole movie to find where mama I'm was. Grown. She don't worry about where the fuck I'm at. Right. She go be called <laughs> <man. laughs> <laughs> and then you come Mama up Mama went on to whoop everybody yep. for getting up in. Exactly. Start, they start doing very short film. Very short film. Where Mama? Then you come back. Very to short film. Two. That's a whole swim category. Where we'll, Daddy? We'll win everything no, in the we very drop, short film we category. We drop trailers all day. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Man. Where Mama? Where, that's hilarious. Yeah. You just where put Daddy trailers out be- the movies that ain't never coming. <laughs> hey, she go, where Daddy gonna be three minutes long? Yeah. Where Daddy? <laughs> Don't ask me about your motherfucking daddy. Ask your daddy about your daddy. <laughs> then the shit just go off and mama just going off. Chico being <laughs> just a black mama cussing hey, for five I'm minutes straight. You. They was in the studio watching the Tubi movie earlier. I caught them. I was like, y'all ain't here watching the Tubi movie. Tubi they got was the like, movie, since TV bro, one got a series, break, I want to do a series of all the shit your father wasn't doing when he was not being a good father. This was, these were some of the best moments of this nigga life, unbeknownst to you. You missed my birthday party. Chico B. Sir, wait a minute now. Wait, <laughs> hey. Look, hey, go on, call hey, Chico hey. B. I, 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 I was on tour with Public Enemy when you when you when you, when you, when you, when you, when you was born. You know I was a rapper in '93. I, 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 hey man. It got to go on when he get rid of the Elsa. Look, let me tell you what happened. Chico Chico B. Soon, B. <laughs> Coming soon, all the way. Yeah, <laughs> Bad, but Some of do. these motherfuckers so short, all they do is go off. <laughs> Show the time the tree go big. Yeah, <laughs> man. That, that. Look, but man, see, you ain't got your, my money. I'm gonna kill your, your ass. What's your favorite though? Now I think about it. What's your favorite hood movie? Ooh. My favorite hood movie. Your favorite hood movie. Like low budget. Can, yeah, just low the, the real hood. Not not the mainstream. I got not the menaces aside. I got the a boys new favorite the movie there. I, the the one movie. you just did. Oh, the uh, Dirty Third. Yeah. Oh yeah. Go that's ahead. that's that don't count over there. My all time favorite independent movie. 
is who made the potato salad. You fuck with who made the potato salad? But I would, you know, it's like, before it was that one, it was I'm about it. I think I'm about it is one of the greatest movies yeah, ever made. Come on, man, July 16th, and you know what time it is, QC, man. Queen City, yeah. Charlotte, North Carolina. We coming to the Bojangles Arena. Yeah. With the Bowberry yeah. Biscuit. See how excited she was? That's how excited y'all better be. <laughs> July 16th, when we come to the QC. Come to the show. July 16th, come to the show. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta walk away from the game. <laughs> Yeah, see that? See that type of excitement? We working on some things. QC, Sean, July 16th, Bojangles Arena. Come to the show. Oh, she, my baby. She gonna be doing yeah. thread. <laughs> she gonna be doing thread, twisting the pocket last week. We want your dreads to twist it. July 16th, she gonna do them for you at a discounted price if you get your ticket today. She smells amazing. Smell like incense, no cap. She <laughs> smells like cocoa butter made from scratch. <laughs> and we're <laughs> selling it July 16th in Charlotte, North Carolina at the Boat Jack. Show Liz. Okay. Go get your ticket. Come on in here, ma'am. This is a third grade teacher, and she will be giving out books July 16th in Charlotte, North Carolina. Get your ticket. Books for the kids. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P. And it's your girls, Ray and Nicole. And y'all know, Orlando, we owe y'all, so we coming back in a big way. August 10th, Poor Minds is coming to Orlando for our live show. Yes, we coming to Orlando Improv. I cannot wait to see all of y'all faces. You know, unfortunately, we had to reschedule mm -hmm. these days. So I'm super excited to come out and see y'all. Doors open at 7. Yes, and the show starts at 8, and we back bigger than yeah. ever. Let me tell y'all, y'all should be happy because this show, this round, is super lit. So Orlando, August 10th. Doors open at 7. Show starts at 8. Orlando Improv. We'll see y'all and we outside, Buki. Period. Put it on, because we coming. Motherfuckers been talking to friendly. I don't know who it is. Could be you, could be, be you, could be, be you. you. That mother Mia X was uh, like, yeah, catch this. <laughs> yeah, see if you catch the neck car wash. wash. Car wash? From the, the 70s car wash? No, car the, wash. Car wash for Snoop Dogg. Yeah. <laughs> that ain't really <laughs> low budget. Who all over that shit, B? Stacy. <laughs> nigga, don't say my name, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nigga you think you that Destiny Child? Nigga, car wash is hard. Nigga. Yeah, that, that motherfucker. Was low oh, that, that shit. Is the East Siders is one, too. Yeah. Who? East Side of Snoop Dogg. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Shit, what about the movie when Silk the Shocker was doing karate? Hot Boy. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga was doing karate. Shut the fuck up. He man. was. He was, bro. He was, <laughs> man. <laughs> he was. Silk the Shocker was, that nigga had a dojo and everything. Like, that nigga was. The first I got the hook up. Yeah, the first I got the hook up. Ball of blocking. Ball of blocking. Ball of blocking. Oh, yeah, ball of blocking with that crap. Man, that's your problem. That had Somebody Kirkland need to beat your ass. Yeah, uh, Somebody need to beat your stupid ass, ass up. Uh, but, but niggas sleep or niggas sleep or choices. I fuck bro, with the choices. Choices good. was my yeah, shit, choices bro. Good. Choices, what else? Choices uh, was hard. It's a, uh, the, the, man, it's a DC. It's a DC hood movie, and motherfuckers ain't seen it. Uh, Taraji P. Henson in it. What is it, it got, called? It got Harris. I'm gonna Harris tell you another one. No, a good one. Black okay. Spring okay. Break. Black Spring Break is hilarious. With Dayron Day South, South Boy. South Boy, yeah. Uh -huh. Nigga said, "Well, be over tonight to pick you up in a limo." Limo? 
You mean limousine? <laughs> <laughs> Tripping a good ass movie. Tripping. Tripping, yeah. That's and it. three strikes. Some Even of them shit so budget. terrible they good. Fat Beach. Fat, Fat Beach. Was yeah, good. three strikes. I my shit Fat too. Even though it ain't low budget, yeah. but still. Nah, like yeah, we going hood hilarious. classics. Hood, hood classics. classics. Shout us. You know yeah. what? The first low budget, uh, another one that went like the Leprechaun. The first Leprechaun. Leprechaun in the hood. The Leprechaun in the, in the hood. hood. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that shit was disrespectful. Oh, that bro. shit was goofy. As that hell. shit was goofy as hell. Yeah. Tales from the Hood is a hood classic to be too. Man. Mm-hmm. Tales from the Hood, bro. That motherfucking Nicholas, my nigga. That nigga that called made me blood. hate dolls for real. Huh? That movie made me hate dolls. Yeah, that ne- them necklace. But, but, you, but the scariest one to me of all the stories, the scariest one was the one when... Uh, David uh, Allen Grill? No, no, not David you Allen Grill. You scared of the abusive stepfather? Yeah, the, 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 no, not nigga, David Allen Grill. But that was, the, was the last one when them <laughs> niggas found out they was dead, bro. That was when that nigga smacked that nigga with the pace. Hmm. He was like, oh, whoa! The stuff. They said the shit. <laughs> the shit. The shit is Ooh. right over here. And when we said this ain't who, who y'all no think you the best crackhead. Ever. And it ain't the Terror Dome night. <laughs> Welcome to hell. To hell. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> I was like, oh no. Nah, who y'all the best crackhead ever? The best crackhead ever. Uh, Halle Berry, crackhead. Samuel Jackson, Ooh, and, no, and hell, no, Jungle, Jungle Fever. Fever. No, she. Oh, ain't nobody fucking with Jones. Bro, like the mama on uh, 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 Cause uh, I'm a uh, crackhead. The mama on uh, Holiday Heart. Nah, that nigga said, I hate the resort to knocking old people over the head for money, but, but I do it. it. You know I, I do it. it. I do it. I, I, you know I like getting high. That nigga I, always start I, dancing I, when he yeah, wants money. Cause I'm a to my gator. <laughs> Come on, man. Hey, yeah. Get yeah. the motherfucker right there. Get the motherfucking money. Halle Berry. Motherfucker TV. Yeah, yeah. All the Where's way. Where's the TV, Gator? You know where the TV I, I is. Smoke the motherfucking TV. The yeah, man's lost. I, I Can you believe that, that shit? Nigga daddy Sorry, pop, motherfucker. That nigga daddy popped him to my mate. This dad just for you. Yeah. <laughs> that uh, nigga pulled out a little doo doo by that big, hit his ass in the stomach. <laughs> <laughs> I think they should, Spike Lee should make more movies like that. Hell yeah, Cause he bro. missed a whole generation. Yeah, he it'd got, be difficult now though. No, it wouldn't. Spike Lee got his hands on a lot of movies though that they we just don't know about. He doesn't. We he should doesn't, know about them. Yeah, I agree. Nigga, we knew about all them other ones. I agree. Get back to making them good ass black stories, man. I agree. And when I was becoming an alpha, my nigga, I had watched School Days, and I had seen it before, but that shit it hit different it when it hit different when you boy. I'm talking about when them niggas, and I was, you know, becoming an alpha. So that scene when them niggas was at that step show, they were with the brothers of the illustrious Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. And them niggas, <clears throat> I was like, ooh. They made y'all learn old. that shit. Yeah, hell yeah, we, we did it at our probate. <laughs> We did, we definitely was at our probate. For real, bro. All the way. This nigga here. Yeah, yeah he long stroke. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's but my, what's your favorite Spike Lee movie though? I gotta say do the right thing, bro. Do the right thing? That's a classic. Mine, he I got, got game. Say. Yeah. He got game. It's dark. It's kind of dark. He got game. Jesus nigga, you you looking at me with all that familiarity, <laughs> nigga? <laughs> <laughs> all I'm gonna tell you the one that, that like resonated with me the most though is Crooklyn. Oh, Crooklyn, man, that's my <clears throat> daughter mama favorite Spike movie. Spike Lee wrote that too. Yeah, Spike Lee. A yeah. Spike Lee joint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Crooklyn was good, man. Yeah. Niggas yeah, forget man. about Bamboozle though. Bamboozle, oh, bamboozle. Yeah. 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 it's hilarious, my nigga. Was <laughs> that that one with Robert I, I be smacking them hoes. <laughs> I be smacking my hoes. <laughs> Everyone knows it goes. <laughs> Smacking these hoes, smack them to the floor. Smacking these hoes, smacking these hoes. Right I, I be smacking my hoes. I be smacking my hoes. I be smacking my hoes. Thank you. That was oh, like, this man. Like, uh, oh, man. Did, niggas, no. is no. niggas is a beautiful thing. Niggas is a beautiful thing. What's that other one he wrote with uh, Robert Townsend, man, when it was tr- Hollywood Shuffle? Hollywood, nah, that was just uh, Robert, Robert Townsend, Townsend. Oh, okay. Hollywood Shuffle. The Return of the Zombie Pimp. My bad. More better blues. More, More better, better blues. blues. That's a, a good one. That's a classic. That's a good one. Him and him and him and uh. I feel like that nigga wrote. And but then Malcolm X probably. Now check this know. out though. Okay. One night I'm in L.A. though. I'm in L.A. though. Yeah, one of my favorite characters. Hold on, I'm in L.A. though. 
I'm in L.A. though. I'm in L.A. You know how I be when I be in L.A. Uh huh. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on L.A. time in business. Right. Man, I'm on, I'm about on stage at the comedy store, right? Uh huh. I get off stage. Guess who out there? Who? My fucking Spike Lee. For real? Fucking with it. That's crazy. He's Don Cheadle character in Mo Better Blues, one of my favorite characters ever. Mouse? No, that was Denzel Washington. Yeah, then yeah, the, uh, <clears throat> um, you know Don Cheadle was his yeah. homeboy. Yeah. Like my favorite. But who your favorite movie character ever? If you got a, if you got a favorite in movie all, all the time, movies, in all the movies ever, I got a number one. Black. Who? Period. Period. I got a number one. Who? What's your? I gotta hear you. Uh, Odell Roby, Jackie Brown. Odell Roby, nigga, I like, can do period? it. Oh, what? Man, Odell Roby, the coldest nigga ever. The way he got Chris Tucker to get in that trunk of that car on that movie, and they say, look, man, you remember the uh, three machine guns I sold last year? Oh, that's that, 12, that nigga I got. who from, uh, from uh, Fire Heartbeat. No, oh, that's Samuel, Samuel Jackson. Jackson. Samuel Jackson is Odell Roby. Oh, okay. That nigga finesse Chris Tucker to get that I'm trunk. He's like, look, I'm, I'm going to tell him I'm going in the trunk to show him the goods. You pop out, rack this motherfucker. That nigga Chris Tucker was like, man, I ain't finna get no, yeah, I ain't finna shoot nobody. I ain't say nothing about you shooting nobody. All you got to do is point it at him there, get the idea. <laughs> he said, man, I ain't getting no goddamn truck. He's like, man, we ain't going nowhere but to Koreatown. We ain't going to be in there no the more nigga than who 10 had minutes. The, who had the, uh, the bodyguard with the motherfucker park. for no minutes, man. And and he said, man, I can't believe you do me like this. This nigga said, do you like this? Man, I want to help you. I just don't want to ride in the trunk of no car. He was like, well, how small was that jail cell, motherfucker? <laughs> and then, you know, I got him. He was like, look, after we get finished fucking with these Koreans, take it to Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles on me. That Skull Special, smothering the onions, gravy, collars, that's some good eating. Yeah. Nigga got that nigga in the trunk, rolled him a plate, strawberry letter 23, Pulled around the corner, jumped out the truck, jumped out the cop, opened the trunk, shot that nigga two times in the head and pulled off. Coldest nigga ever, man. That nigga pulled up on Robert De Niro with Chris Tucker body in the trunk. I remember that movie. He opened up the trunk and was like, nigga, who the fuck is this? Yeah, he said, okay, what do you do? He said, that's that's Beaumont. I'm like, who's Beaumont? Favorite An movie employee character. I had to let go. Oh, that nigga said, what'd he do? Time. He put himself in a position where he was gonna have to do 10 years in prison. That's what he did. And if you know Beaumont, then you know ain't no way he can do 10 years. Yeah. And if you know that, then you know Beaumont's gonna do anything Beaumont can to keep from doing them 10 years, <laughs> including telling the federal government any and every motherfucking thing about my black ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's a situation of him or me. And you best believe it ain't gonna be me. Yeah, that nigga's a cold nigga, man. I'm gonna I'm go with, uh. I like Idris Alba, bro. Idris who? Idris Alba. Who the fuck is, is what character? Idris Alba. Elba, nigga? Elba. Oh, this I nigga said. Was, I was about to say, I'm from Atlanta, what bro. Movie, Idris Alba. What movie is Idris, Idris Alba? Alba. <laughs> like, what did Idris Alba? You know what, I'm from Atlanta, bro. Idris, that, Alba. Idris Alba? I thought that was, no, I'm thinking you saying that's a movie character. I thought yeah. Idris Alba was in oh, a movie look. I'd never seen before. That goddamn Beast of No Nation. I ain't never seen that. Oh, my God. Listen. Beast of No Nation. You what never seen that color? That nigga Idris Alba. He Elba. Just... <laughs> <laughs> this nigga <laughs> probably watched this shit. Who's that asshole saying my name like that? I'm talking to you, nigga. Idris Alba. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, bro. He like he like this African uh, warlord. Okay. And it's like this little boy. You know they're, they're refugee. They come in, kill everybody. Don't fuck it up. I'm gonna watch it tonight, bro. We'll watch. Listen, you. Besides Beast that no motherfucking Eight to Five South show. For real? It's not another better show on that bitch. I ain't seen it. It's a nothing. series. It's a movie. Okay. I ain't like, bet I'm gonna watch that shit. It's a whole African. Like, we smoke shit. more of this weed, man. It's a good ass movie, bro. Beast of No Nation. Beast of No Nation. That's what I'm gonna put that on the playlist. I gotta see that. I ain't never watched that. When I first heard Idris Elba talk in real life, it fucked Why me up. That? <laughs> because, bro, like, this nigga was string a bell on the wire. I'm trying to think of, uh, if I had to pick a favorite movie character of all time. I don't, I never thought about Man, it. Man, if I had to pick one for you, I think you'd pick, pick a nigga like J.D.'s Revenge or somebody. Now that's a cold motherfucking <laughs> like, movie. You know, that's, yeah. I fuck with all that. That's what I'm that's, saying. Like, I done seen every old said, pimp that's movie. That's the best fucking I Damn. ever had. That's because you fucking with Ace. <laughs> <laughs> you remember he put the whole I got mad about Damn. it? <laughs> He got put the whole I got mad at himself. Yeah. Damn, that nigga put the whole I got mad at Damn. Yo, oh, hey. I'm, it might be Nino Brown, though. 
Wesley? Man, that's a cold one. Nino Brown. No, Wesley Peart. No, Nino Brown. Nino no. Brown. Oh, you said oh, his favorite movie character. character. Yeah. Oh, a character. Yeah, your favorite character in a movie. You know what I mean? They don't have to be an actor. I'm I got, I, and the daddy from Sugar Hill, too. Oh, yeah. That's, oh, that's, what do you want that's, from that's, me? That's, that's the same nigga from uh, Tale from the Hood. Yeah. 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 All the way. He's a cold nigga. What's up, Smack Carlos Miller? Oh, shit. You know what time this boy DC on Flip? Chico Bean. Hey. Going to make it, man. July 30th, huh? making Coliseum. Coliseum. That's right, the making Coliseum. We we gonna be, no, we gonna be making y'all laugh like a motherfucker. Fuck you talking about. That what I'm talking about. That was Get there early, because you know the traffic in making be crazy as hell when we come down there. So get them tickets. Hit the website. Pull up. And we'll see you in making. July 30th, three-headed monster tour. Get the tickets, Back town, you know what's happening? What's up, man? Wow, What's up, Sabaz? What's up, Sabaz? Y'all had a great show, man. Thank you, boy, man. love. Hey, man, I appreciate y'all, bro. Love, pal. You shit, bro. Well, no, somebody you made me yawn, ugly ass <laughs> nigga. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, XP. And it's your girl, Dre Nicole. And Miami, we coming to turn up. I'm excited. I'm excited too. We've been long overdue for a Miami show. Mm -hmm. And I can't wait to see y'all. It's the perfect way to kind of, I guess, end the summer because the summer gonna almost be over. And it's like but August 13th. Yeah. We're gonna be in Miami, Miami Improv. Show doors open at 7. Show starts at 8. Yes, and I'm telling y'all, look, this is right before my birthday too. So y'all know I'm finna be lit. It's Turning lit. that. Ooh, we I'm finna, I'm finna put it on for Miami. I'm telling y'all, listen. August 13th, doors open at 7, show starts at 8, Miami Improv. Y'all, please do not miss this show. Y'all know we're going to have people popping up, rolling up on us. Miami, it's going to be fun. Welcome to Miami. Period. So I'm Miami. Yes, you know. See y'all What soon. the old people used to say, be there or be queer? What was this that getting jiggy with it? All right. Hey, what's up, Virginia? July 22nd, I will be in Tyson's Corner. Talk to me. What you got going on on the 22nd? Pull up on me. What's the theater, Craig? Capital One Hall. That's where we gonna be. Make sure you grab those tickets and pull up on me. I've been trying to see you. I know what you said about... Come over there, though. I'm working on something bigger than us. If you didn't go to church today, don't worry. We got you. It's the blessings that's going to come through here, too. <laughs> church ain't number three or more people. Anybody ever been know that? Don't block your blessing in here. It might not be, the, it might not be your church blessing. It might be like your hood blessing. <laughs> Every nigga here done caught a hood blessing before. Like when you driving home and you see the police behind you for a little bit. Then they hit the light and just scoot on beside you. Yeah, yeah, that's a good old blessing right there. Because at the end of the day, I'm on tour. And I need you to be there so I can tell some jokes to you. I'll see you when you come see me. Creeper. You know, whispers. Creeper was the crackhead in the Dolomite movie. Oh, yeah. Hamburger pen. I gotta say pen. Bumper Johnson. Oh, you oh, talking about Hoodlum? Bumper Hoodlum. Johnson, man. Hoodlum. Yeah, Hoodlum. Lawrence Fishburne, that's yeah. a cold one. I fuck with Yeah. <laughs> Furious <laughs> Styles was a cold ass character. Furious Styles, Styles was a cold, cold character too. Bro. Lawrence Fishburne, that's, the, that's a good conversation. Listen, back yeah, then, like, you either who had played that the coldest type of daddy. niggas in movies? Back then, you either had that type of daddy, you either had a Furious Style type daddy, or you had a Nino you know, Brown. You know, yeah. Nigga either sold dope or nigga was conscious. Yeah. Oh, he wasn't there. Yeah, he wasn't there. <laughs> yeah, but that's that hoodlum man. Hoodlum so crazy. Carlos, did you smell it with them? I just, I just hate when, when they make movies about black people and they be like, you can't feed this baby with drug money. Yes, you can. <laughs> yes, the fuck you can. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> now that's what you know they be miscommunicating with the hood. Yeah. They might have said that at first, but after a while. You can feed that baby with Yeah, that. you can feed that baby some steak with drug money, especially depending on what era it was in. The mamas didn't like the drug money in movie back then. They always thought, get this dope money out of my house. <laughs> you a liar. They always get a mama a whack yeah, ass job. Mama, yeah, yeah. When mama be working at the mama, cleaner. Mama, you are a subway mechanic. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Listen, son, in 90 days, we all gonna have health and dental insurance. Yeah. One of my benefits. Mama, you ain't gonna never make it out of here fixing these dishwashers. Hush your mouth! <laughs> oh, now you take your dope money and get the hell out of here! I'm gonna feed my family with that. <laughs> Before he gets to the door, she got him some whack ass Bible verse. I'd rather sell crack in hell than to have a drug dealer time. But mama, I get out of my face. <laughs> then, then, it, then it goes to a monologue. I couldn't believe my mama would even talk to me that way when all I was trying to do was help the situation we was in. But now I realize I'm really on my own. <laughs> then they had that one scene where the white cops show up. Miss Jackson, Miss Jackson, can I ask you a few questions about your son? I don't have a son. <laughs> well, if you remember anything, you give me a call. Yeah, that's how it be in the movies, boy. The movies be wack as hell. They, they, they let the mama run back into the sun before the police get to them, though, again. Oh, yeah, all the they way. They gonna lock your ass up. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna lock your nigga ass up. Yeah, they, this is what a nigga really balling now. A nigga out there with a mink on, like, yeah, taking, yeah, yeah, taking yeah. pictures. Nigga be like, hey, yo, hey, yo, smooth. Your mom, Hey, yo. your moms, man. <laughs> So this is what you doing. <laughs> then, you, then you gotta stop your gangster. Hey, yo, 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 chill, bro. It's my mama, man. Your mama's so, what you doing out here. So your name's not Anthony no more. <laughs> Mr. Oh, should I say Mr. A Money? <laughs> not that you care or anything, but they just put a lien on the house and I don't know what I'm gonna do. I did the best I can. They let me go from the subway mechanic job and everything's just been going crazy. And I just want you mama, to come mama, home. Mama, 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 mama. Come home. Mama, look at me. Stop all that crying. I paid the house off this morning. Everything's taken care of. I don't need you crying. That's what I've been trying to tell you this whole time. All I've been trying to do is make it better for us. And that's what this does, mama. You see all these people in here? They work for me. <laughs> if you call that work. <laughs> Coming soon to Tubi, nigga. Chico color, bitch. Chico bitch. Chico bitch. <laughs> Oh, but wait, man. As soon as he found out, he did it. Hey, man, I know one character that was cold as fuck, but he's the main character. Who is that? That uh, nigga from. Uh... Oh, oh, yeah. Cut, oh, Cutty. 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 Cutty one of the coldest niggas ever. Clip the time. That nigga, Clip the Powell. That nigga, Clip that nigga was walking out of the back. He may stay away from my woman. What oh, you did you say? Cut it. That nigga oh, said, what man. did you say? Man, he was like, yeah, yeah, suck it, yeah. Ah, suck it, suck it, nigga, suck it, nigga. <laughs> that, that nigga said, suck it, <laughs> suck it, nigga. <laughs> yeah, she wasn't doing it like that before you left for the war, was she? <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> Never fight the hand that feeds you, nigga. Merry Christmas, Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, that nigga Cuddy was a cold Kirby was the raw nigga in that, that nigga Cuddy pulled up sucker raw. on a lollipop. Uh -huh, Kirby, Kirby, sucker. Kirby. You grabbed the wrong leg. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> just tried to eat something, man. I didn't know I got a fake leg. And you done grabbed the wrong motherfucking leg. I should use it to kick you between your fucking shoulder blades. Hey, Remember man. the daughter came out? He's like, bitch, you got more heart than your old man. You got more heart than your punk ass daddy. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a classic bro, right that's there, a classic, man. That's bro. a classic right there, man. All Another the way. classic on man niggas don't talk about, bro, is colors, bro. Oh, what? Colors was a good I classic. am a nightmare walking, <laughs> psychopath talking. <laughs> you know my favorite part of color? Take it on snobs, that is our job. And if you think with the clips, then you hit it on the knob. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Yo, man, my that man nigga Pac Damon man wins and colors, it bro. in on my man's, man. They did him bad, man. <laughs> Left him laying in the bed like a baby with a big dick, man. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> that's the that funniest nigga, line. Oh, yeah, man. Movie. When that nigga was Who rapping did him in the like back that? of that Pac-Man band. did him like that. Black man nigga was like, you take it down, slob. It's our Stop job. saying that. They watched this too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, but that's the movie, man. It's the movie. Yeah, that's, they ain't going to give a fuck about that. They ain't these niggas. Yeah, they ain't tripping. Yeah, they ain't tripping. Nah, my bad. Excuse me. But yeah, that nigga David Wayans and that motherfucker, man. Colors was a classic. This guy's a blood. <laughs> Rocket. Rocket. Yeah, Rocket. Don't you? I about when they that whooped that Don nigga. Chance. You know another one? They whooped his they, ass and put his face on the nah, grill. Nah, you know another one that they all talk about? Uh, what's my man? Glenn Plummer. South Central. South Central. OG Bobby man, Jones. South your Central, son out bro. there breaking in car. <laughs> what? Jimmy's only 10 years old. At that age? They don't ask no questions. <laughs> <laughs> and then the nigga told gotta the whole go. story. That nigga said, gotta go, Bobby. Can you go to him? That nigga told him the whole story. Remember, he got all them little boys breaking in them cars, and he give them. $10, $20, maybe, maybe. He can sell those same radios for $100. Man. New house for Ray Ray. Ray. New Man. car for, for Ray Ray. Ray. Hell. <laughs> Ray Ray run me <laughs> off the set. Hey, what about my favorite hell. Movie? Hey, hell. one of my favorite scenes on I'll South be... Central is when that nigga Black Ron saved my man from, uh, from getting raped by the uh, white dudes. Oh, and, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, yeah. this is a man. <laughs> He's a man. <laughs> this a man. He was like, why well, need 25 carton cigarettes? <laughs> this a man. <laughs> that man said, I want this dessert for 15 years. Yeah. 15 bucks of cigarettes. Lots cigarette. and lots of cigarettes. Lots of cigarettes. 15 that nigga bucks. Said, I'm going to talk and you, you going to listen. <laughs> I have a son. <laughs> and I was on him about the way he dressed. <laughs> but I said, put your shoulders up. Oh, dad. <laughs> Behavior like that is whole young life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, my that's God, a movie, man. Bro. That's a movie, that's, that's bro. That's South Central, man. Since then, I've been committing me some robbery with a hot baby. <laughs> <laughs> Loco. Loco, Just man. give me the drink. Let me get you high, baby. Because I got the rock. <laughs> Freeze. <laughs> Pull the car over. That was a cold ass bro, movie. Bro, that's a cold ass movie, movie, bro. It was, bro. That shit was good. You were trying to watch that shit with your Johnson. kids? Mm-hmm. My, Where my you daughter, at? My daughter can't sit through the shit that I like, man. Bro, they hate our I old remember shit, my, man. I, man, my daughter hurt my feelings so bad. I was trying to show her wrestling from when I was a young WWF wrestler. Never gave wrestling. a damn. No, man, hated it. I was trying to show her. I, I mean, I'm talking about classic matches. I'm talking about, I'm trying to show her. Remember when, when uh, Shawn Michaels threw Marty Jannetty through the glass on Brutus the Barber yeah, Beefcake yeah. Show? Yeah, yeah. She was like, Daddy, why is this so violent? I'm like, fat, it's not real. She was like, well, if it's not real, why do you care? I said, go upstairs. Just go, go upstairs. She had real logical reasons on why you shouldn't been go watching upstairs, that shit man. when you was her Go age. upstairs. I've been trying to force her to like, the shit that I, I'm talking about now yeah. that she, you know, she kind of a little bit more receptive to it now. The only thing that we didn't watch that she was cool with was The Last Dragon, because she seen how, that's my favorite movie, and I just still act like a little boy when I watch The Last Dragon. I'm still singing and doing the moves. So you she be doing that got shit? That. Huh? You do be doing the moves Hell in yeah. front of the TV and yes, shit. Yes, all the way, still, to this day. When you reach that upper level, your mind, body, and soul must be you one. I know the break dances and everything. Nigga. When that nigga was outside, it was like, man, you <laughs> <laughs> and that nigga was wiggling out them ropes, nigga. That shit cold. <laughs> I, just, I just watched that. Hey, my favorite scene in that whole movie, though, is when Show Nuff went to the piece of real shop and broke up everything oh, yeah. and threw, that little, threw his little brother in the garbage. Oh, yeah. And his little brother had to forget him. You ain't my thing. brother. You ain't my brother. You ain't nothing. nothing. <laughs> you a sucker. They had to forget it. We looking for Leroy. I'm Leroy. Oh, you talking about Junior? Yeah, yeah. Junior. <laughs> but y'all ever watch the penitentiary? Fly, too sweet, fly. No. Come on, cat. Oh. The penitentiary, how did? Sweet tooth. 
I ain't never seen that before. Oh, yeah. the box. When he taught him how to box, that's why he was, when he, remember when he started oh, winning, he was like, God, God, sweet bro. tooth, fly. I seen penitentiary one through five. Yeah. Bro. It's you five of them? You, you ain't never seen yeah. a penitentiary? I ain't never seen oh, that. Man, that shit God. came out in like 76. Yeah. One of the greatest. Yeah. With yeah. Leon in it? Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, I thought you was talking about Some Leon. This motherfucker Leon. look just like Sugar Ray Leonard. Too. Listen, bro, call Sweet Tooth. Yeah, Too Sweet. I'm talking about he looked yeah. like Sugar Ray Leonard. Yeah, yeah. For real? Yep. I gotta watch that. That shit cold. Penitentiary. That's a cold ass movie, bro. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, hell yeah. yeah. That's why I went. I got them. Yeah, that's uh, confused yeah. with the Mo Better Mo Blues. Blues, right? Now, uh, hey, what's up, Houston, Texas? July 29th. Your man Carlos Miller. That's right. I'm coming down there. Where am I gonna be at, Craig? The Performance Hall. The Cullum Performance Hall. Make sure you grab those tickets and pull up on me. If you didn't go to church today, don't worry. We got you. It's the blessings that's gonna come through here too. Church ain't number three or more people. Anybody ever been know that? Don't block your blessing in here. It might not be the, it might not be your church blessing. It might be like your hood blessing. Every nigga here done caught a hood blessing before. Like when you driving home up and you see the police behind you for a little bit. Then they hit the light and just scoot on beside you. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good old blessing right there. Because at the end of the day, I'm on tour. And I'll come see you when you come see me. I was 21, 20 years old, right? Yeah. So for me, Man. with that kind of money, still living in the projects, we had to figure it out. Right? What's happening, Phoenix? Phoenix! Hey! Where the fuck did all these black people come from in Phoenix? Where y'all been? What's happening? Where y'all been? And I'm not speaking for every man in the, in the If I make it to be making 200 million, Nigga, I can make 200000 I feel like I supposed to fuck any bitch I want to. So if Zion, if you want to do that, live your life. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P. And it's your girl, Dre and Nicole. And you are tuned in to another episode. Perfect. Show these niggas tricks. Now, they my house. I done took y'all everywhere else. Now, come on over. All them vines and shit. Mold days and shit. Welcome to the pizza ad. What oh, we yeah. got right here? This granddaddy, man. This, come on. Um, this what I got for my 40th. I ain't do nothing to it. Usually, I put 40s on everything I got. Um, I ain't do nothing to this, but put some music in there. You know what I'm saying? Did you do the do on it? Yes, sir. Ooh, you, you was hitting on that joint? Yeah, 100%. Give him a booty eight all that. A <laughs> goddamn, okay. That's living the life. When you, when you on the, hold on, when you stand on a blow up mattress and you can get a girl lick your ass, eat your ass, yeah. you a bad, you cold blooded. Hey. You know, but shit, nigga be broken in bitch, man. Think about it. You ever been so broke, you just feel like you about to pass away sometime soon? <laughs> you be like, I know God ain't got me out here living like this. A Bay Area native, you understand me? You got this, you got to get this monkey off your back, you understand me? <laughs> if you ain't never broke a female off no chicken. <laughs> now, it's nothing that, you know, men should glorify and be proud of, but you mm. know, it's just culture.
another one too when he was Earl the Goat, man of Goat. Oh yeah, the Goat? Yeah. Oh yeah, the Three Goat. Pounds. That nigga said that nigga was taking coins off the top of the backboard. Yeah. That Earl Manigo was jumping up taking coins hey, off kid, the top of the backboard. Hey, yo, kid, what's your name? Boy. Earl Manigo. Did he say Nanny Goat? And that nigga <laughs> Earl Manigo jumped up with some chucks on and touched the top of the backboard. Oh, when he snatched the dollar yeah, off that bitch. Yeah, he snatched the dollar off the top of the backboard with some Chuck Taylor. Cooley High used to be my shit, too, though. Oh, Cooley High sad as a motherfucker, man. Hell, no. Nah, that's nah, that's nah, that when Come on, When they killed Cole, Come on, they killed Cole Cheek, man, listen, bro. I was talking about before they killed Cole Cheek. Man, man, I don't care. They, they ain't had to do Cole Cheeks like that, bro. <laughs> nah, they didn't. They didn't, bro. They didn't. We, got, we needed this segment, man, for classic black cinema. Any, yeah. Any yeah. honorable mentions in there? Oh, it's plenty of honorable Lackawanna mentions. Lackawanna Blues. Lackawanna Blues. Uh, what else? What's another classic black movie that most people don't? Rosewood. Warriors. Warriors. Well, Warriors wasn't really black. Touch out the Game Bang for real. Yeah, I mean that was the original Game Bang. Yeah. Warriors. Come out and play. Can you dig, dig it? it? <laughs> Color way. purple. That's that's. Color purple. Oh, yeah. Beloved. Of Beloved. Beloved. Uh, Beloved. 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 I want you to touch me on the inside. <laughs> Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to go back to the '70s. I'm gonna have to go. Uh, you got to collectivize Willie Dynamite. Oh, mm. well, I'm gonna throw up the education. I've been Sonny walking Cox. out. Anytime I see steps that's more than 12 steps, that's how I walk down Sideways. the steps. Sideways. Sideways. <laughs> you think you're so tough with your pretty black bitches and, and your, your fancy cars <laughs> and your. And your hundred dollar fur coat. Hundred dollars? <laughs> this is lamb! <laughs> this is lamb! <laughs> you forgot one thing, Sarge. And what's that? Those pretty white ones that work for me too. Yeah, that nigga, that nigga say, I've moved every bitch in every kind of place. And one thing I've learned is you've got to collectivize. Or you grow. <laughs> So you telling me that I got some of the coldest animals and they can only run in certain parts of the jungle? <laughs> Willie. That nigga was talking well, what about if, What if he has a bigger stable? Does he get more real estate? <laughs> Yeah, that was a cold meat. Man, that movie exactly. so mother. That's a cold meat. Then this nigga right went there. and did 40 years on Sesame Street. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got that big bag. One, two, yeah. three, three, four, four five. five. Yep, that nigga went from Red Dynamite and was on that on Sesame Street literally for 40 With years. With the little bandana tied to the sad. Well, that boy, I tell you, that's a show that had me in the headlock too. That Sesame Street boy. No, man, what's man, that we one with to, Barry White? I'm, I'm a, it, was Barry like a, White. it was like adult comedy though. It had Barry White, it was cartoon. Man, right. Barry White was one of the voices on the cartoon, bro. Oh, it was CJ in the bed. I think so. It was a cartoon, though. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? It was a cartoon. No, it was no. like it was a C. It was a bed, little, little black had, boy in, in a bed. So, C. Bear and Jamal. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Tone Lope was on that yeah, shit too. Yeah, uh, C. Bear and Jamal. I think Dick Gregory was a voice on that too, wasn't he? Oh, he, he may have been. been. <clears throat> but yeah, that Sesame Street boy. We went to Sesame Place when I was a young nigga, man. It fucked you up. What? I'm talking about the happiest I've ever been. See, that's why I'm, I, I grew up in the 80s and it was kind of fucked up, the type of shit that we were entertained by. Like, everything that we was watching on TV, if we would have seen it in real life, would have scared the fuck out of us. <laughs> like a fucking Fraggle Rock. <laughs> the fuck is a Fraggle? <laughs> These little motherfuckers had talent too, and most of their shit sound kind of like a rendition of the Jackson Five. Even when the shit come on, you just see these little weird ass fraggles pop up. Let the music play. Work is for another day. They chilling, but they working at the same time, just being fraggles. Fraggle Rock. Fraggle Rock. Jim Henson was getting high in a motherfucker. Pull it up. Fraggle, Fraggle Rock. rock. Shit was crazy. Come on, man. These motherfuckers used to come up like where the humans lived and shit and try not to get killed, just be out was fucking it a cartoon with people. Or like oh, a these nigga, these motherfuckers had whole lives where they would go yeah, on vacation real? and travel across the country and all this shit. Boy, my people little, would come spend the I, night on. I tell you, my little brother boy, that nigga Bonnie and Lamb Chopped. 
That my, little, my baby brother, he tortured us with that. That lamb chops? Bruh, oh my God. That Barney, nigga, Antoine chop. Bean, used to be on that Barney. And that, but I can't even lie. Now as a grown man, when I go back and watch some of them Barney episodes, Barney and them was jamming on that motherfucker. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. Barney oh, had rap beef and didn't even know it. He said he had a rap Webby beef. got a line where he said, Barney probably loses man, I'm laid up with baby, baby bar. bar. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, good thing y'all ain't got young baby, cause that Coco Melon shit it drive me crazy. Yeah. But some of that shit be rocking though. I ain't gonna lie. They got a lot of black shows now. now yeah, but where, like ain't... it sound like whole rap Man, songs. Just, like, yeah, no, nah, they got that, what, what's, what's that something corner that the kids be watching now. Gracie's corner. Backyard yeah, against go yeah, in. Yeah, boy. Backyard against out there. That shit produced against, by yeah. DJ Drama on God. <laughs> yeah, my daughter was on that on that Dora. Dora Explorer, and then it was this, this this cartoon that used to come on PBS Kids called Super Y. Oh, so basically what y'all saying is y'all want to create an educational show for some black kids. Oh, yeah. what? We need, okay, yeah. let's do it. We need some people who know how to work puppets and shit. I know we'll do the puppet. voices. All you got to do is do the puppet shit. We're right. going to teach black kids. But we're going to have the kids. We're going to do real black shit. Well, we're going to teach them how to pay a bill. Yeah. This <laughs> is a bill. Yeah. The numbers on this bill is real. Yeah. So when you're in the house and you want to chill, cut the light off just a little, or you might Bye. get a bill. Yeah. Bill. Bill. All the way. Come on. We got to have puppets that like teach the kids with you. What? Like, oh no, kids! What it's, is he doing? I'm cutting it's y'all racism. cable off. <laughs> <laughs> it's racism! And then the racism! And the racism dog, come on, hey! I know you didn't say what I thought you said. Well, put your hands on me, then if you ain't scared, cause I'm a nigga. Hello, kids. Don't ever let nobody call you, you a, a nigga. nigga. <laughs> Unless you a nigga like me. <laughs> right. Nigga man's getting locked up again. Yeah. He just got out of prison. Yeah. And I'm going back, kids. Don't yeah. let me be right. the example. You let somebody call you a nigga, you may end up in prison. <laughs> <laughs> my whole yeah, thing oh, 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 my God, bro. It's prison. <laughs> and they come on. What's up, kids? You niggas ready to go to the slammer? No! Can you spell slammer? <laughs> Can you spell slammer? S-L-A-M-M-E-R. Slammer. slammer. That nigga said. <laughs> we'll we'll lock your ass in the slammer. <laughs> <laughs> we got to do that, bro. Teach hey, the black it, bro. How you keep Oh, no, kids! <laughs> It's heroin! <laughs> Molly! <Yeah. laughs> Look, you got all the drugs hanging out together, G. <laughs> you got all the drugs hanging out together. Heroin, wake up! <laughs> it's difficult to wake up when we all have <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, kids. I can't seem to lift my spirit. Uh, I'm telling you, bro. That's the one right mm -hmm. there. Let's teach the kids the real way. Let's do it. We got to do it, man. All the way. We'll do three episodes and then get discontinued. <laughs> <laughs> right, but that's all you need is three. That bitch is going to live forever. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga said, nigger bear is going back to jail. <laughs> Don't let nobody call you a nigger. <laughs> Unless you's a nigger like me. See you next week. All right. <laughs> My dad got caught stealing out the grocery store. That's crazy, man. We should do something for the kids. Oh, no, kids! It's Booster Bear! <laughs> Got some lotions, got some socks. <laughs> we can't buy that stuff, Booster Bear. Why not? Cause it's stolen. Who said that? <laughs> <laughs> hey man, 
That's that boy. Oh my funny, god, that'd be hilarious, bro. Niggas be kicking all these good ideas on here. And don't listen. That's all I'm saying. Don't let these niggas pick up on this. Who's shit. doing them? Yeah, w doing it. already. Yeah, this is this is uh, you know, creative intellectual property yeah, right yeah. here. You know what I mean? All we waiting on now is them people to hit us back about the puppets. It's somebody out there that make them too, boy. We get some puppets, Joe. The pussy we get some puppets, bro. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Chico, did you <laughs> see this? Do the voices for the puppets? Somebody made us some light up pussy. The pussy pierced on the ashtray. Wow. Fuck me up. That's crazy. If Everybody I would get the pussy look like this, I would be terrified. Why you saying that? Why? That because look how the lips are shaped. They like oh yeah, she wedge. Got, she got some wood to stay. Like your, Man, maybe you know. your pussy lips look she like. Chick-fil-A fries, that's crazy. Stop, man, you can't be pussy particular, man. There ain't no pussy got some shape like this. There's some mouths on that. No, no, ain't nothing that's shaped like this. She ain't worried about nothing. It's a reflection of what it could. This is crazy. I mean. Would you even feel comfortable using this? Yes. Yeah. It's at a different level of arousal. And I'll probably lick the ashes up out this way. Turn it off. See, you do too much. You do too much. That's why I don't take you nowhere, God, man. Damn. Bro, what is wrong with you, my nigga? <laughs> You're like, man, bag, why you tongue that color? What? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, bro. <laughs> what you been eating ashes? Nah, I've been nah. Yeah. Yeah, damn. Man, yeah, that's tough. Be careful, man. Don't do nobody like that. Fuck around and eat some shit you can't swallow. I don't even want you to elaborate on yeah, this. I'm going to let that one just sit. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Where it's living. <laughs> Netflix yeah, we and gotta, chill. We, we now part it. of the official yes, Netflix sir. and chill. Yeah. I, man, look. Man, you know how many black children are going to be born because of this? Yeah. Come on, All bro. All the way. All the way. Without question. It's going down. We Somebody got something go. to do look. with the black population now. Yeah, we man. showing them that we are well above what they thought we were. This shit is just amazing, man. Shout out to everybody who been fucking with us since day one. I don't know what your day one is. I don't know if your day one was from Steve Studio. I don't know if your day one was Brick Wall. I don't know if you was around during the back room sessions. I don't know if you were there when we moved to the trap. I don't know if you was, I don't know where you been. I don't know where, when you started this journey. But at whatever point you you got on and stayed on, I told you. Now we're going even bigger. We're trying to get us a special on Disney Channel <laughs> with Mickey Mouse and them. Nah, we bringing our own. 85 South Show on we bring, ice. We bringing our own puppets. <laughs> we bringing our own puppets for the kids on the Disney Channel. Puppet, we be we, I puppet oh, one of them. kids. <laughs> yeah, boy, I can't wait. We gonna, we gonna have a Sesame Street <laughs> run. Right. Y'all too graphic. No, that's what you gotta do it, bro. Oh no, it's Hermes. Hey man, it's you shouldn't do that. Why not? Cause your mama might whoop our ass. She whoop the both of us. Whoop our ass. She whoop the both. It's just simple legend. Yeah, all the way. You know what I mean? Oh no, kids, who's that? You know it is. It's Dookie. <laughs> <laughs> Not Dookie. P U. Yeah, it's me, P U, in the building. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? You know what I mean? Too graphic for the Too kids. Too graphic. Then P U. Yeah, that's how you teach the kids how to be clean. You know what I mean? Make sure you wipe your own ass. <laughs> <laughs> All the way, G. It's live, man. We gotta, we gotta, man. We gotta watch the watch. Black the kids man. are respond. They, they are, they are like able to respond to those type of messages yeah. better. Yeah, all the way. Especially musically, like right. there's some music involved. And you know how every episode should start off? How? Somebody dropping the kid, like a, like a single mom dropping the kid off, trying to explain where she going. <laughs> I'm going downtown to look for work. You're just gonna have to stay here on the educational corner till I get back. <laughs> <laughs> 
educational corner. We teaching you outside in the streets. <laughs> boy, boy, you know how many people want to take their kids to educational corner? <laughs> boy, I'm telling you, it'd be a corner. We standing on the corner and all this shit happen on this corner. That so, looks just like my block. This is your block. <laughs> and you are welcome to come to it. All kids are welcome here on the educational corner. And guess what we're learning today? See over there? <laughs> <laughs> that's enough. All right, that's see. That's enough. All right, we're done. <laughs> all right, we're done. Yeah, we keep, going huh? this way. Damn. Right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, damn, yeah, you we're off we're the going. show. Yeah, we're so first episode. So we're going to kick this thing off the corner. Yeah. Yeah. We had to replace mailman Otis <laughs> for being insensitive. Yeah. Can you say insensitive? <laughs> oh, no, kids. He's canceled. <laughs> Get out of here, mailman Otis. Get out of here. Don't let nobody call you. <laughs> Get out of here, mailman Otis. <laughs> That's right, kids. Mailman Otis will no longer be on the show. You don't have to worry about none of those mean letters or harsh words that you've been saying to us. We apologize on behalf of Mailman Otis. Matter of fact, we're going to go paperless. Can you say paperless? paperless? Right. <laughs> All the way. The fucked up part, Mailman Otis going to come back as another character. Hey! You look familiar. I told you. <laughs> you see them niggas over there? <laughs> That's the Get out of here. This nigga gonna be like <laughs> This nigga gonna be like, <laughs> gonna be like swiper off, off the door. <laughs> Keep popping back up. Oh, oh she go. I just noticed. We may have been a victim of a theft. What? It looks like somebody attempted to steal our Slick Johnson signature pair of silver rice boots. Cause the glass gone off them. Yeah. Man, somebody stole the glass to put them on their shoes. Yeah. Oh no, kids, it's Booster Bear! Hey, I got this glass for y'all, man. Man, that's our glass. Used to be your glass. Oh my goodness, that shit crazy. Man. Don't let nobody call you a nigga. <laughs> Hey man, we need sponsored somebody. in part by if, if Chico make, Color Beer. <laughs> if you make dolls, man, if you make them puppets, man, holler at us, man. Yeah, so we'll buy our own puppets. Bit, we uh, need the educational bro, corner puppets. Oh that should be crazy. Education. Don't ed- make them perfect either. Make them look kind of fucked up. up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not yeah. like yeah. fucked Not up, fucked up, but kind of like ugly tell. enough to get the point across. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Educational corner. What I will say is, don't make them. Tr- don't try to make them look like us. We want some real puppets, yeah. and I want my shit to be like blue or purple yeah. or something. Yeah. One of those colors that. Kids can get them. Yeah, gravitate yeah. towards, right. All the way. And no, we will not be using curse words. Not on the kids. Show, not no. for the not kids. The <laughs> no, no. Educational hey, call. It would be funny no. if we made it an adult show, bruh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it probably if would it end up being an adult, adult show, show yeah. ki- with the kids shit. That, that'd be hilarious, yes. bro, because we could add so much more in there. If it's an adult show for kids, that's something we cannot keep clean. A kids show that's just for too adults. much to keep clean, bro. That's too much. Yeah, kids show for adults. Niggas like, here is hair run for a child. Yeah, I mean, yeah, hair but stay, you stay away from it. Right, but now. Yeah, you gotta stay away from it. You bro, know what I mean? Y'all, you're a terrible. But you gotta change person. it now, because you know what I mean? Oh, no, kids, what's that? It's Perk 30. Yeah. Not Perk 30! <laughs> Hi. I'm Percocet, I'm used for pain. <laughs> Some of them people use another thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, what is it supposed to be used for, Mr. Perk? Ah, oh, well. Oh, after surgery and stuff, <laughs> don't put Percocets in your butt. <laughs> oh, 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 wait, Perk, daddy, you gone too far. Mr. The Mailman. Hey, don't let nobody. Hey, Mailman, hold this cup back. Every time you say the wrong shit, I see it. You see the nigga back? Hey, man. Every time <laughs> niggas say the wrong shit, they get hauled off. Gotta come back as another character. You gotta come back as another character, bro. You got to. That's hilarious, man. You just keep getting put off the show and coming back as somebody different. <laughs> 
I'm um, a piece of man pack. <laughs> <laughs> Looks an awful lot like me. Yo, man, man Otis. Oh, this is me. <laughs> 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 oh you man! You see them goddamn niggas? <laughs> hey man, that's the recurring theme of the show right there. This nigga just keep coming He's back. He's the man Pat will no longer be with us because he was being insensitive. Can you say insensitive? That's classic, man. Oh my god! With that. Oh man, what we gonna take over next? The world, pinky in the brain. You trying to go over there, BBT Plus, BT or some Tyler, yeah, Tyler Perry? Perry got be it. Yeah, shit. Tyler Perry got it. Tyler Perry, in it, man, we need to get Tyler Perry in here, man. Fact. You think Tyler he'll come Perry. over here? Yeah, he'll come over he'll here. He'll come here, man. Yeah. You know Tyler Perry? Nah, I don't, but I feel like Clayton you know, know us. the nigga. Yeah, he feel like he know us. He know who we is. You think so? He I know. feel like we do. I feel he like might he not. Do. He know. I feel like he he probably don't know nobody that he didn't create. If he didn't have something to do with it, he ain't gonna. Like, I, it's what now? I think Tyler Perry. 285 North. He might. I think he know. He, he know y'all is, bro. Yeah, I Trust think so. And I think he'll come in. You and think? Have <laughs> I don't know. He know, bro. You think so? I believe. I know he know. Do we need to reach out to him or like. I call that nigga right now. Call him. You see them niggas? It's <laughs> time to go. Hey, I knew you. It's time to go, man. He definitely hey, ain't coming down. Tyler. Tyler. <laughs> Damn, man. He probably do watch this shit. I he probably he do, roll bro. up. Ain't no way. Roll up a fat ass John and watch this shit. Yeah, Facts. All the way. I believe. Nigga, no. Morgan Freeman watch it. I believe. Right in Mississippi, in Oxford too. He got a house down the there. First he black Jesus. probably sits there and wonders. What we're going to do next. Yeah. As we walk upon the stage back and forth. Wonder what these Negroes are going to accomplish as they move forward. Wow. <laughs> and they looked happy. South show. That's what we get to do the next And episode. they looked we're happy. Gonna, we're gonna get as gonna happy get as a nigga free. eating cornbread, they were happy. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get baby, we gotta get Morgan Freeman to do the intro of the next one. Ladies and gentlemen, that'll be hard. Yeah, that'll be hard. We should, we should definitely look into that. Because now we're taking over. We're going to do some shows in Saudi Arabia or something. Where? I don't know, but we gonna, they're going to give us about a half a million for a show. Shit, I don't know. I'm just making up shit. Bro. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, nah, it feels you know good. You know what you're doing? You're doing the B. Simone. You're manifesting. Oh. Man, that's what you're doing. Would y'all do a prison show? Nope. I'm not going to prison for nothing. Why not? Nope. Do a prison show? No. Niggas in prison don't want to be there. Why the fuck would I go voluntarily? <laughs> <laughs> and well, they going to understand that. Made. I mean, they well, made well, a point. Made. Nope. I'm not doing it. But I'm saying, no. I, I, would, I might prison not go do a prison show, but I would, I, would, I would advocate for them to be able to watch us in prison. I'll do a yeah, prison show. Yeah, they should show. definitely be able they to watch. They should be able to watch us in prison. I'll do a prison you know show. I've been on the outside looking think, in instead of inside I think looking they, out. Because they, they, they get to watch Wild and Out in prison. So, no, they know. don't. Yes, yeah, they the do. fuck they do. Yes, they do, boy. You'll get your head knocked off if you come. No, on TV. For they want to see the Wild and Out girls and shit. Man, and Since when? Since forever, bro. You know how I many niggas come home, especially from the feds. But we had to watch Jerry Pen- Springer to see some ass up nah, in there nah, back nah. in the Federal day. Penitentiary, man, everybody that come home from you the feds be like, bro, that was my, Wild and Out was my shit in prison. But we'll take the goddamn. Don't wait till you're in prison to girl. start watching comedy. The insurance girl, <clears throat> Clo- uh, Cl- Flo, yeah. and the sexy bitch on TV in that motherfucker. On God. They don't show you a lot of women in there because you. Flow, bro. From progressive. For, I done gun flow down so many times. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. What the fuck? I'm, Otis will no longer be on the show with us. Will. Because he is being insensitive. <laughs> don't let like nobody call, call you, nigga. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you were saying he was with it, too. I'm telling you, bro. Man, man, Otis will no longer be with us. <laughs> Bro, float. All right. I feel you though, man. Yeah, but they I ain't don't. show a lot of shit. Just when I was going it. to jail back in the day, they ain't show a lot of. You know what I'm saying? While or not, y'all it's, it's sexy women on there. They ain't doing all that. Hey, well, you were just wasn't in the feds, huh? They do it in the feds. Now, today, they yeah. wasn't doing it back then. You right? ain't go to the feds. No. 
So yeah. yeah. Shut up. Yeah. Hey, still was in jail it. for a weekend, bro. You yeah, act like you did so much time. I did. I did yeah. 35 years, brother. <laughs> what the fuck you did? I've been locked up. I've been locked jail. up. I've been in shackles all my life. That motherfucker did one weekend, yeah. bro. Got out I Monday. I did two bendy days. <laughs> <laughs> See, when I was in jail, nigga don't know what they were watching. That TV that changed that whole weekend. Trying to he done jerked off the floor the whole two days. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, you ain't even had to jerk off. He ain't even had to do that shit. He just jerked off the floor back for back two then. days. I'm trying to tell you, they ain't used to show you shit like that. They make you. <laughs> There's a bunch of niggas is. in there. Why would they show you something to get you aroused? They showed you stupid <laughs> shit, Maury. You got to be happy that a bitch. That I used to be happy when the baby wasn't the niggas, because the bitch gonna run off and we gonna see that ass <laughs> bounce. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, please don't be this nigga's baby. <laughs> bro, something wrong with this I'm nigga. I'm dead man. ass serious, bro. This nigga said, oh, I know you wish. are. That's the part that's fucked that's up why about it. This nigga's crazy. He used to wish they wasn't the daddy so he could see the girl. Run, run off, off so that ass. <laughs> and then you got to get, that's a short run. Then you got to take mental pictures <laughs> of. Clock, 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 clock. Hey, man, I'm going to get the fuck out of here, man. Yeah, Y'all crazy. I'm yeah, saying yeah, niggas get... out there with blankets. <laughs> Money bag, what's you your? You are not, because that run be short. <laughs> you are not the father. You gotta throw that blanket over your head real quicker. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, on that note, this <laughs> this is 85 South Show. And, I'm and taking we my mic off. Uh, hold on, hold up. No, hold up, hold up. This is 85 South Show. And male man Otis will no, not be no, 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 Cause he was being insensitive. Can you say insensitive? Don't let nobody <laughs> Hey, man, we out here. Oh, my God, man. <laughs> that nigga is stupid as fuck. Hey, what's up, San Antonio? July the 28th. I'm going to be down there at the Empire Theater. Don't let nobody tell you no different. If you didn't go to church today, don't worry. We got you. It's the blessings that's going to come through here, too. Church ain't number three or more people. Anybody ever been know that? Don't block your blessing in here. It might not be the, it might not be your church blessing. It might be like your hood blessing. Every nigga here done caught a hood blessing before. Like when you driving home and you see the police behind you for a little bit, then they hit the light and just scoot on beside you. Yeah, yeah, that's a good old blessing right there. This everybody said and told your man pull up on me July 28th. You already know. I don't get to come to San Antonio often, but when I do. I'm in San Antonio, and I'll come see you when you come see me. now showing you just how important having the 85 South Show app is because you was watching this show thinking, oh, they done finally put the shit back on YouTube. No. They was listening. We weren't. We weren't. It's on the app. It's on the app. The rest of this, listen, the rest of the audio is on the app. Woo! <laughs> 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 Now you gotta know what we Woo. said, you gotta go get the app. That's the 85 South Show app. It's available on Amazon, Five Stick, Apple TV, wherever you get your subscription. No, it's not. It's, it's just, not on it's Apple just TV? available directly where they sell apps. Or oh, they don't sell apps on Apple TV? It's where well, y'all should fuck with us too, Apple TV. Put Hell wrong with y'all. It fuck is Roku. on there. Put it on Roku. Don't say fuck nobody. No, I didn't say fuck them. I said put it, I thought we fuck with them. Oh, we do. My house full of Rokus. Oh. The Roku remote everywhere. Yeah. So subscribe to the app. It's only $8.99 a month or $85 a year. So you get a whole year for $85. Did yeah. you know that? It's $8.50 and then you gotta pay tax. Yeah, so you know, it's eight. You know, we get them all type of content. You know what, we not even gonna tell them who you got your glasses from until they get it on the app. I mean, hey, you gotta watch the app 
the app is available. All of these people that say we should keep putting this on YouTube for free, what about the years of freeness that we've already provided upon you? We gave this away for free for years. Let's move together. Why would you let somebody come year. invest in the show and put it on another network and you're buying their subscription? You don't ask them why you're buying their shit. So don't ask us. We're putting it on the app. Who's over the app? Nobody knows. Get the app. Yeah. We saw what you said in the comments. We, sure we saw it. We saw everybody. The good, the we bad. Read every fucking comment. And the ugly. So you know what? We folding under this pressure. Sure we hear you. We heard you. We hear you. We went and did. We we'll just get the fuck on at y'all way. Yep. Just for an hour though. Yep. That's yep. all you get is an hour. So don't you can't complain. Well, we're the rest of it. I at. think they should get 37 minutes. Oh, see, we gotta hurry and we up. We just put a whole bunch of ads in between, like long ass ads, like five minute ads. Hey, how you doing? Uh, you, you. Slow motion ads. Slow, slow it down. Waste a motherfucking time. Yeah, uh, let's just, uh, Go ahead and make sure. Channel85.com. I want to make sure I read what they wrote. They wrote some shit out for us. These niggas don't know how to spell or type proper sentences, but they trying get to get us to get y'all to buy the app. What, you think we want to read this shit? Channel85, man. So we can talk that shit, man. Ladies, don't you like the deep thrust? Huh? Go get it on the app. Yeah. That's right. On the app. Uncensored, unfiltered, and edited. Can you believe that? I'm talking about with actual production in it. Thanks. Jump cuts, yep. clips, all types of type of like exclusive shit that they don't even know that we did. They don't even know that we got a show where we be cooking like exotic foods and shit. Okay. That's on the yeah, app. Sports shows. Yep. Talk shows, documentaries. Chico got a handwriting class that he Real teach. <laughs> Nobody passed it. Cause that's why the shit look like right. this. But we're working on it, and you can see it on the app. They on didn't. The e- app. They didn't even tell them about the tax course that we had uploaded on there. No cap. They don't even know that we, we got we a whole show about Wall Street. And a five thousand dollars on the app. Right. <laughs> and we got the alternate ending to the color purple up there. Oh right. man. No cap. We got the raw edition, all the uncut, all the bloopers. We got all that. Right. It's on the app. So if you want to see some shit that you know they trying to hide from you. Go to that. I'm leaving though. Channel85.com. Go get the app. You got an hour for free. We gave you what you wanted. Now give us some subscriptions to the app. $8.50, $8.99 with tax, $85 a year. Channel85.com, 85 South Show. Get the app. Well, see, this is what they don't know. The app really $3, but adjusted for inflation is $8.99. Yeah. What Lo said. Get the app, man. Stop bullshitting. We out of here, man. We're not about to keep working all this time for. We work for free. We are going on out, baby. We are going on out. We on your way to fly. On air. <laughs> <laughs>